All right. I'm ready. I'm ready too. Cheers, Drew. Boom. Look at that. That was an excellent. Shirt. Look at so your shirt. Festive. Look at your shirt. We we have kind of a common thing going on here. Flowers. They really knocked it out of the park with that logo. I gotta say, this is my Rick Shaw. I'm I feel like a little bit of a poser because I did not go to the San Francisco Pen Show this year. It doesn't matter. That logo is but exceptional. It's phenomenal. It really so, is. Mad like, props to Rick Shaw. We do sell yeah. the products. Um, but Mark and, White from Rick Shaw reached out to me. He's like, Hey, you're gonna be a San Francisco. I was like, Dude, I can't make it this year. He's like. Let me know what shirt you but want. But you I can was like, wear it. Yes. Nice. So representing here. Very cool. I was there in spirit. But anyway. Yeah, um, we are going to talk about something we haven't chatted about yet. Now, yeah. we've had these for a while. We have. But have not given them the spotlight that they kind of deserve. It's true. And, you know, we mentioned it casually kind of here and there, when they, especially in the Q&A when they first kind of came out. We did, We wanted to do it right now on it. We had a lot of other things going on. We're kind of a little bit late to the party because we've actually sold out of a couple colors of them. Um, but we have a couple left. There's one more that's going to be coming, Turtle Brown. Oh, this is the uh, uh, Montegrappa Amaralio, by the way. Um, we have one more Turtle Brown that's going to be coming October-ish. We don't have an exact date, but that's forthcoming, yeah. a new color. But we wanted to at least highlight this this pen because it's got some special things going oh, on. A lot of special things, for it. sure. Um, so it's definitely, I would consider this like a collector-grade pen. Absolutely. It's in that league. So Montegrappa is an Italian company, very old, about 100 over, years old. Over 100 years. Yeah. They just celebrated their anniversary not long ago. Um, and they collaborated with Sailor, which mm -hmm. I can, in recent memory, remember like two major, like long-established pen companies collaborating. It's a huge deal. On a pen. An Italian pen barrel with a Japanese nib. Yeah. It's kind of a dream team, right? Yeah. And the quality is incredible. They use these amazing looking celluloids. Uh, it's really cool. So yeah. we just wanted to highlight some of that stuff. For yeah. You and the, there's a really awesome presentation factor with this mm -hmm. pen as well. It's not, it's not, you know, cheap. It is in the plus thousand dollar range. But yeah. when you get it in, there is, uh, there is a, there's an experience to be there's had. There's an experience. Yeah. So yeah. we're going to let you experience that. So you've got the beautiful Montegrappa Italia box it comes here. with a cardboard sleeve that you yep. already took off. Yep. Yeah, cardboard sleeve to protect it. Pretty substantial cardboard too in the box. Like yeah, yeah, know. yeah. This isn't flimsy. I like they do this on on their boxes, which is great. The, the flap there, so you yes. can get access into it. Otherwise, yep. you're like, I love. What this. do you like? Turn it upside down and try and like shake it out. I know. That's I love sketchy. it when companies do that. And then you've got this beautiful. What would you call this? Like faux velvet. Yeah. Thing happening here. Yeah. And then. Some this sort of liner. gorgeous lacquered box. Yeah, glossy black. And it is just stunning. It has that beautiful, oh, yeah. you know, I guess navy-ish. And then... <laughs> I would call it navy. Boom. Oh, yeah. So you've got these beautiful, like, steel joints here. Um, and then, obviously, the logo. It comes with a polishing cloth because the accents are still sterling silver, so uh -huh. you're going to want to keep uh -huh. those nice and tidy. And a beautiful manual that's going to explain some of the history behind the pen. And also is going to give you some uh, artisan information as well as some, um, I think, some uh, information about your LE number and things like that. So all good stuff, very intentionally designed, very neat. And then you have a tray that can come out to present you with your pen that slides out of its bag and all that good stuff. Um, also, Brian, we've got a little, what is this, hexagonal, pentagonal? Uh, that is a uh, octagon. Octagonal. Pentagonal? I don't know. That's five sides. I know. Right? I know. <laughs> anyway, um, so you could put a couple little UFC fighters in there and have them battle it out. Or you could <laughs> use your you uh, your free Monte Grappa ink that will come with your pen there you go. and slot that in there. Now, when we ship these, we actually ship the ink separate from We do. Your ink will be in the box, protected in bubble wrap and everything like that. Yeah. And here's the Amaralio. Or Amaralio. And it's got kind of the, the old school Monte Grappa logo that they've been putting on some of their pens. Yeah, they've been throwing back to that a little bit, mm -hmm. um, which is cool, you know. So you've got your sterling silver accents, and then the, nib. the big deal, oh, yeah. your sailor made nib. Oh yeah. So it's, all, it's not um, emblazoned with any sort of sailor uh, logo stuff. It's still Monte Grappa themed. Mm -hmm. It's got the Monte Grappa logo and all that stuff on there, but it is made in Japan by sailor. Absolutely. And I, you know, we're not going to ink it up on this one because, again, these are like collector kind of items. So we don't want to ink it up like without people's permission, basically. Right. Um, but we, we did have a couple people that already bought them. I was able to ink up a couple and write with them. And they, they really Pretty write nice. well. I got to admit, we don't have a ton of experience um, with Sailor Nibs around here because we don't carry them. Um, I have a couple personal ones, you know, but inking these up, it was like, okay, 
Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, this All is nice. Right. And I it does it. have uh, their <laughs> ratchet piston. What do you think of this? You know, it's funny because they had this on the Monte Grappa, Monte Grappa, mm-hmm. right? Uh, and, and our whole team at first was like, this is weird. It's, like, what is going on? It's but, strange because you don't see the <clears throat> the uh, the knob move at all. It doesn't move. I mean, it doesn't go up and down. It, it almost fe- if initially, it almost feels like when you're like over tight overdoing like a different type of piston and it feels like it's like skipping the thread so it almost or feels a childproof medicine bottle cap right <laughs> that too it almost feels like you're doing something wrong but as soon as they explained to us that it is meant to feel like a watch winder mechanism i was like mm. ah yes that makes sense because i have some watches that do that and it's like okay yes that's exactly what it feels like okay it's intentional they wanted it to be that way that totally makes sense. And it's very different. It's very Monte Grappa. It's a unique thing for this pen that I think just adds to the whole complete package. Yeah, and and even though it's like a, I would con- definitely consider this a collector grade pen, um, this is going to be a super wonderful writing pen. Like this is a pen that I would daily carry. Oh, personally. absolutely, and it's going to last forever too. The celluloid body is going to be really durable. It's going to yeah. last a good long while, and um, yeah, that's that's the that. um, that's the charcoal. The charcoal one is, um, you know, kind of just like black on one side, and then you turn it, it catches the light, and you're just like, oh, oh, that's amazing. Not over on that just other side. black. Honestly, I don't yeah. think, I mean, for all the interesting color names that exist in the fountain pen realm, I don't think charcoal does the does the job does for this. It, yeah, exactly. It really is special the, to look at. The accents on the center band. The center band is kind of fat, you know, it's very prominent, mm-hmm. but, you know, they, they decorated it really nicely it's got all these nice nice flourishing Mm -hmm. speaking Um, of flourishing i wanted to mention that this logo that you'll see here um they used to have what 1939 1908 there was an old logo with with a year um they (laughs) were replacing their primary logo which you'll also see on the tops of the uh, pen finials with this uh, kind of tree, this uh, three-stroke design, mm-hmm. and it's got some significance. And uh, one of the strokes represents the flourish of Monte Grappa. The mm-hmm. other one represents craftsmanship, yep. and then there's another one for uh, individuality. Individuality, yeah. Mm-hmm. So like kind of the three tenets of Monte Grappa's design and you know production principles. And they also designed it to uh, have a uh, this um, line that goes from the uh, top right to the bottom left is supposed to kind of symbolize an infinity symbol for longevity yeah, and it's also like connecting the first and third yeah, strokes. Yeah, exactly. And then also the number 8, which is, you know, obviously not only used, you know, a lot in Monte Grappa's limited editions, yeah. but really throughout a lot of Italian and Japanese designs. Yeah, you'll notice a lot of the pen companies they want to end their series on 8s. Yeah. They do a lot of 88s and things and like that. What could be more lucky than like, putting it on your logo? Yeah, there's like there's <laughs> 80 of these pens. So 8 is a is a, you know, symbol of good fortune, I guess, mm-hmm. in, in Italy. Yep. And it also kind of makes an M for Monte Grappa as well so mm-hmm. there's a lot going on here to unpack but yeah, it's a really cool logo yeah, yeah it's really cool and it's the same upside down as it is uh you know right side up so it's nice. just it's always working there you go so you know again this is this is not a pen that's going to be like you know widely available for everybody because they only make 80 of each color and we're already out of a several um but we thought it was still worth a mention because of the collaboration aspect of it the quality of these, these prints in particular is just fantastic yeah when you hold them you've it feels like you're holding something substantial that someone yeah. really took a lot of time and intentionality yeah. and designing. And if you have been kind of sleeping on this pen, you're kind of like on the, the, the edge of wanting to get it. We don't have any left. And so hunt around, find the other colors if you can, the butterfly and the malachite. Mm-hmm. Those colors were incredible. Right. But you know, um, this black is really, this is the first time I've actually seen the black in person. I saw mm-hmm. it on the site and it looked good, but in mm-hmm. person it really jumps out at well, you. Well, like any celluloid, like any material really, but especially celluloid it's just going to pop more in person yeah. than it will on the site. So. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, it's extremely limited, only 80 per color worldwide. That's pretty wild. That's a big deal, and that's pretty not wild. a lot yeah, of Yeah, we're kind of honored to, like, have them at all. Yeah. <laughs> it's, honestly, it's a big deal. So like, the, like this this sort of collaboration is just something that's not done. Yeah. So so we want to encourage them to do more of yeah. them or encourage other companies. You know, maybe we'll try and uh, urge some more and Companies we're working Team with. Teamwork. Like, there you go. Yay. If you could pair up two other companies, Drew, who would you want to pair up? Visconti and Pilot. I was actually thinking yeah. the same thing. Easy. Put yeah, like mm. give me the mm. you know uh, or Paniter and Pilot. You know, give me a mm. c- crazy Italian design with mm. the reliability of a Pilot nib. There you go. You betcha. I could see that. Yeah, give me a watermark with an Emperor nib. Ooh. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, like a Yurushi Homo sapiens. Yes. A mock- a Rodden 
Homo sapiens. Stop. This might be the greatest idea we've ever had. If you if this was a thermal vision, this would just be all bright <laughs> yellow right now. I just had the greatest <laughs> idea that's ever been had. <laughs> all right. Anyway. I don't if know anybody wants to do that, go for it. You know, I'm sure somebody out there. It's all downhill from there. I need to make this happen. Yeah, I gotta make some phone calls. They call uh, Jonathan Brooks. He can shove some, uh, shove some rod in a homo. We can do like sure. an aftermarket one. Yeah. We got him. All right, all right. I got, some, I got some thinking to do. Right. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Check these out on GooliePens.com. Thanks so much for watching, and right on.